Accounting the transactions means uh, to record transactions of business with proper way in the books of accounts of uh, any individual concern, a firm or a company. For this you have to follow the double entry system rules of debit and credit. I recently met uh, a uh, professional accountant uh, who maintain the accounts of different companies and he is uh, earning more than 55,000. He uses different uh, softwares, accounting softwares for maintaining accounts but still he is following the debit and credit rules and regulations so today we will teach you the debit and credit rule rules with a practical example when you see any transaction take its uh, invoice or bill or voucher suppose recently i have bought uh, this laptop and its uh, total price is uh, 24200 with vat and uh, vat is 5% and I have received its bill so as an accountant this laptop is my asset and its cost is 23,047 plus VAT if I have to sell it to other then I will count the VAT otherwise not so I am recording this every asset when it will come to the business it will be debit so laptop and uh, this laptop is hcl account debit hcl laptop account is debit because it is my asset and uh, it is the asset of my business so 24,200 will be debit and uh, I will credit the payment which uh, I have given because uh, cash is also my uh, liquid asset and uh, it goes from my business so it will be credit cash account credit this is 24200 this is debit side and this is credit side so one account will be debit you must remember one account will be debit and one account will be credit now if i will sell same laptop to other so this will be my current asset at that time I will pass any other entry at that time I will pass what comes in goods goods coming in my business and that is my purchase purchase account debit so you have to see 
what type of product is coming in your business either it is your fixed asset or your current asset or in the current asset you have to decide whether it is the goods so if uh, it will be the goods it will be purchase account and vat input input account will be debit this is uh, not uh, my money but uh, this is the expense uh, which i have paid to government to purchase account debit vat input account debit to all we can say uh, cash account credit so at that time i will not pass this if i am doing the business of laptop i will pass this and uh, 23047.62 and vat input is 5% and it is uh, 1152.38 and total is 24200 now when i will, will uh, sell this uh, laptop to other person and i will get a cash cash account debit i sell with the amount of uh, 30000 this account will be debit because cash is coming and uh, sale account credit suppose if uh, the 5% uh, vat so vat output account credit this is a 5% 30000 3500 and balance is uh, 29 28500 so difference of this difference of this and this will be uh, will i deposited to government account means uh, i already paid 1000 152 and uh, i have received uh, 1500 so difference of this will be transferred to government account that to to government account debit to cash count so this liability will decrease i i am writing uh, what will be 1500 one thousand to 150 38 0 and 293 347 approximate 347 347 this is credit so with this way we will deduct whether this account will be debit and this account will, will be credit and then we will pass the journal entry so this way you can do accounting of all type per transactions okay thank you thank you very much